Okay, so this is part of reducing low back hip pain intensity course. So, just think about a time when you just started to feel some hip pain or low back pain some sensation there where were you were you laying down standing sitting what time of day was it yeah where were you get a real sense of that moment in time in that place and there's a the thought it's gonna be really bad the pain is gonna be really bad and then this is the form, you just fill it out. It's gonna be really bad low back pain, hip pain, and that means, I've just written down a few of the classics here. It will hurt. I have to tighten my body. My body is broken. My body needs to make it stop. This will never get better. Nothing works. So this is uh, this is part of the work of Byron Katie. So we've identified the situation, the moment in time, the thought. Again, there's the sensation, and then the thought. It's going to be really. There's going to be really bad pain. And that means. So this is making a list. That means just continue the list. What else does it mean? What else does it mean? And then the work of Byron Katie. So the next part is questioning these thoughts. So from there we can take and we can, we can circle, we can actually circle the top one. I'm going to get extreme pain. So we can circle any one of these and question them with the, with the four questions and then the turnarounds. So yeah, that first question is, is it true? All right, so from this moment, from that moment, remember that moment. You felt something, and here's the thought. You're gonna have, your body's gonna have extreme low back or hip pain. Is it true? So this is the thought here. I'm going to get extreme low back and hip pain. And just notice in that moment, is it true? Is it true? Is it true? And just find a one word answer, yes or no. Yes. Second question, can you absolutely know it's true? I'm gonna get extreme hip pain, low back pain. Can I absolutely know that? No. Just sit until you get a one word answer, yes or no. Notice the stories that come up, notice the explanations. You just thank them and you just wait until you hear a one word answer. Yes, it's true, or no, it's not true. Third question is, how do you react when you believe the thought? How do you react when you believe their body is going to have extreme low back pain, hip pain. Oh, I brace, I s tighten up. I notice a lot of tension through my right leg, pushing down that right foot, right tension in the hamstring. Oh, my pelvic floor just got tight, tight, tight. Tight my shoulders, my jaw, obviously, you can feel, you can see my cheeks, my eyes are squinching. My breath, I'm holding my breath. So there's more pain. <sighs> like when I ask that question, there's a lot more tension, a lot more pain, a lot more bracing, the holding the breath, all of that just is more pain, more suffering. Fourth question, who would I be without that thought? So 
I go back to that moment in time where I felt that sensation and I can't think the thought there's going to be extreme pain without that thought I'm good it's quiet relaxed I just notice life moves on Life moves on, and I... I'm okay. Much, much, much better <laughs> than believing the thought. All that tension and bracing and fear. And then we do turnarounds. We find the turnaround. What's the opposite of uh, body's gonna have extreme low back and hip pain. The opposite is it's not going to have, body is not gonna have extreme low back and hip pain. Well, what's an example? I mean, one moment in time where you did not have extreme hip pain, extreme low back pain, one moment right now. When I ask the question, who would I be without that thought? That I'm going to have extreme hip pain without that thought. I, I'm happy, I'm relaxed, like in that moment. There's another proof. We can go back to just before you felt that sensation, just the moment before you were just reading whatever it was, drinking coffee, walking, you know, wherever the mind was, and then, yeah, not having extreme pain. So turnarounds, I'm not going to have, my body is not gonna have extreme low back hip pain. Um, my thinking is, so this is another opposite, my thinking is my body's gonna have extreme pain. Right, so I see an image, like flash in my mind. There's an image of muscle pain. It's like red X's. I see like a scream. These are all thoughts. These are thinking. These are, these are the proofs that it's, it's just a thought, not real. My thinking is, when I'm believing that thinking, I'm fully engaged in that movie. I'm like, ah, ah. It's a terror movie. Just thinking about seeing if there are any other turnarounds. My body is not going to have extreme low back hip pain. My thinking is my body will have this pain. My thoughts are my body will have this pain. All right. Thework.com, the work of Byron Katie. Go to thework.com and all the resources are there. It's free, it's brilliant. Use it.